How's it going everyone? It's Zerker and we are back with the first haul for the year of 2024. It's a pretty decent sized one I must say. Uh, what I ended up doing, I've been kind of beginning some vinyl records and not showing them lately and just like a handful of uh, Blu-rays. So I decided to include those into this particular haul and we got manga of course so let's jump right into it. Start things off, uh, we're going to do the manga first and then we'll go into the vinyl and Blu-ray later. But uh, what I'm going to do is show the pre-orders first and then we'll go into kind of like the older series that I started picking up. And yeah, so to start things off, we got Kaiju number 8, volume 9. I do think I did pre-order volume 10 and I'm going to stop from there and see how the, the series is really holding up because I think I stopped reading at maybe 5 or 6. So I'm just gonna base it off of that. If it's not really picking up or keeping my interest, then it's gonna go out of the collection. Following that up, we also have volume four of the manga diary of a male porn star. This is just funny. It's actually a lot more wholesome than I actually anticipated. It's still very like adult oriented, but uh, it doesn't have a lot of the adult things that you might think it might have. And you know the way this cover is depicted is exactly how it's depicted in like our main character is depicted like this and like The other characters are pretty well <laughs> detailed and everything And it's just funny like this guy's journey to needing extra cash and his journey through like the adult industry in Japan Pretty pretty interesting and keeping up with the Degenerate train we got parallel paradise volume 16 Volume 7 of Please Put Them On, Takamitsan. Volume 6 of Chain Soldier. Uh, the, the anime for this has been very interesting. Uh, I didn't realize they were going to do an uncensored version. And when I found that out, <laughs> it definitely got very, very interesting with that. So uh, if you want to see how it should be uh, portrayed, definitely look for that uncensored version or just read the manga. And finally, dialing things down. We got volume nine of Berserk of Gluttony, volume 10 of This Is Screwed Up, but I was reincarnated as a girl in another world, and volume six of Dan to Dan, volume three of Under Ninja. I don't know what was going on with this one. I had pre-ordered it, I think it was through Amazon originally. They told me it was getting delayed to like March or April or something like that. Ended up canceling it and then suddenly it reappeared like at my doorstep, so I... <laughs> Don't know what's going on. I reached out to Amazon about it. Uh, they didn't bother getting back to me, so I don't know if I got this for free or not. And a new series that I came across that sounds really interesting uh, is the Steel of the Celestial Shadows. And basically, from the, what the back says, a down and out samurai named uh, Ryoto Konosuke struggles through his Hard scrabble life in the early 19th century Japan. Already I'm interested because it's like feudal style Japan, I guess. And it said the samurai spirit uh, rests in their sword and Konosuke can't even pick up one thanks to a cruel curse that repels uh, anything made of metal that gets near him. Destitute and hopeless, he decides to end it all. But when a beautiful mistress woman, not mistress, when a beautiful and mysterious woman uh, saves his life and his soul, it is the beginning of Konosuke's journey into a strange world of magic that exists a step away from his own. So this looks and sounds pretty fun. I'm excited. It's the first volume just came out, so it should be good. And lastly, for a lot of my pre-orders, this is volume four of Boys Abyss. Absolutely, absolutely loving this series so far. And now we're going to move into things that have been coming out or have been rolling out for a while that I just never picked up on, or they have been out for a long while now, and a very old series. And to start things off for this section, I went ahead and picked up the five volumes that were released of Reincarnate as a Sword, Another Wish. This is more of like a spin-off series to Reincarnate as a Sword, and I kind of get the feeling, I haven't read it yet, but I kind of get the feeling it's more of like a slice of life adventure with some action tossed in to kind of like push things along, I guess. But we'll see. 
looks fun. I really enjoyed the original uh, Reincarnated Sword, and I did enjoy the anime, so I should find some value within these. And continuing with my journey on getting up to date with the Apothecary Diaries, I went and got 5, 8, 9, and 10. Still believe I'm a little bit behind by maybe like 4 or 5 volumes. Not 100% sure, but I have to look into that. But I absolutely adore this series. Really enjoy reading it so far. Joined the anime a lot, so definitely happy to finally get in this series. And we also got two more volumes of Berserk 21 and 22 here. I believe Berserk and these next couple volumes, I think maybe something else, maybe we skipped over, but I got these and this next two series uh, from uh, Sci-Fire. I've been looking for a replacement to write stuff since they switched over to Crunchyroll. And it's more just to still uh, Crunchyroll kind of sorted things out with the shipping and process and all that. Because the last time I ordered from Crunchyroll, I didn't get a confirmation or a shipping confirmation. It just randomly showed up and that was kind of annoying. <laughs> the packaging wasn't as good as Right Stuff's was. And I've been hearing a lot about Sci-Fi and decided to check them out. Uh, unfortunately, as nice as Sci-Fi was, I don't think it's something I'm going to continue to use just because you do have to pay for that international charge and that does cut into your cost of things. So, so with all that said, I also decided to pick up the eight volumes that have been released of Gangsta. I have been eyeing this series for a while, never just took the jump on it, so finally decided to. I know that this series is pretty much on a permanent hiatus, I think. Uh, the manga has an illness and kind of halted their production on this. And that's perfectly fine with me, you know, I'd rather them take the breaks, get healthy if they can. If not, at least I got to enjoy something from their from their mind and creations and everything so yeah really looking forward to this and this is also from my sci-fi order i think it was like one of the only sites i could find that still had everything in stock you know and to follow that up we also picked up the i believe this is completed the four volumes of the side story gangsta curse i believe it's the four volumes i'm not sure you can correct me on that but so yeah we got that all the bookmarks just fell out. Yeah, absolutely excited to see what this series is about. I know there's an anime out for it, uh, but I've heard mixed things about it, and so I'm not gonna bother watching that. And before we get to our largest item in this order, we got one more, probably one of the oldest manga I probably bought in a while. And this is uh, Voyeur's Inc. And this is from Viz's now defunct Pulp line. I believe the English got maybe four or five volumes, and I am on the hunt for those at a good price. And before we get to the vinyl and the Blu ray, we got one more item, and that is the Claymore box set. When I kind of got into this hobby, I was looking at Claymore more than I was Berserk, and I never really just took the dive on it because, you know, at the time I wanted to kind of get more uh, like other series and everything. And I always felt like the uh, box set would always be available in some capacity and it paid off. So yeah, it is complete, fully, whatever is supposed to be in there is in there. Did come from Amazon, so. And we're gonna move on to vinyl and Blu-rays. We're gonna start with the Blu-rays just cause they're smaller to deal with and easier. And there's just, they all relate to each other, but got the Evangelion movies, uh, 2.2, what is this? Uh, you cannot advance. Not redo and the final film thrice upon a time i actually like this one a lot i really do like the final film uh my intention is to get the complete uh series and all the films that came out i would like to get them all kind of like in these two with this uh the slip cover and everything but I'm not gonna push it because some of these prices for these are absolutely ridiculous. And lastly, we just got some lo-fi vinyl. I'm just gonna show you the cover and talk really quickly about these because I ordered these a long time ago. But we got Aquilas. We got the Frozen Lands. Let me see my 
computer screen wallpaper. Uh, Restful Holidays. This is more of a compilation of a whole bunch of different artists. Robert Deseo. And we got the Dreamcatcher living room. And Sleepwalking by Xander. I ordered all of these in June last year. June or July. It was a long time ago. Completely forgot about them. It took a long time to get here. And on top of that, this Aquila one's like damaged up here in the corner. So I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's got that crease right there. It looks like it got a little water damage. I mean, when these were delivered, we had a huge rainstorm coming through. Like, everything was flooding, so I'm just happy to have them. But that wraps it up for the first haul of the year. And expect plenty more to come, that's for sure. And hopefully uh, some more older stuff, because I've been, I've been doing quite a bit of researching on what to get. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.